attempt with time going deep and what a catch by Mims. He got it. He's six foot three, 207 pounds, so he's got ideal size and he can fly. What's coming? Late games. Down the sideline and it is caught. What a catch by Denzel Mims. Denzel, you started your rookie season off injured, which you know, unfortunately, a lot of people probably don't envision themselves starting their first professional season that way. But how did it help you grow both mentally and physically to prepare you for the games that you were able to play this season? Uh, well, mentally, you know, it helped me out a lot. You know, um, it showed me how not to get down you know, when injuries occur. Just always stay positive, you know, because the first time I had my injury, you know, I was down a little bit. And the second time, it really, it really took a lot on me, you know, and I was down for, you know, quite a bit. But, you know, it, it matured me even more, you know, because I knew that it was part of the game. And all I had to do was just get get healthy and just continue to do whatever I can to stay healthy. And so it was it was just pretty tough you know, mentally. But physically, you know, it showed me why I needed to prove, prove that in areas of my body and just what I need to focus on in the future. Heading into your rookie season, Denzel, what expectations did you have for yourself more specifically? I wanted to do everything I can for the team before as on my personal level, I mean, personal goals. I wanted to, you know, make a, make a big impact for the offense. You know, I wanted to be that go-to guy, but you know, me having those injuries, it kind of set that back a little bit and didn't really get to let, uh, I really didn't get the chance to show them what I could do. 11 throwing to the side of the field and complete inside the 20 yard line. Once again, that is Denzel Mims. Second round draft pick out of Baylor University and at 6'3", 207, a nice target. Like in the later half of the season, you did show what you were capable of? Oh, uh, most definitely. When, um, when my name was called, I felt like, you know, I showed what I can do, you know, especially in the blocking game, you know, I show what I can do there, there, you know, I was never selfish, you know, you know, I just wanted to do everything I can so we can get a win, whether it's catching passes or it's blocking or just running someone off so another player can get open. It's just, I just try to do everything I could. Denzel, every player experiences their first professional season differently, but I'm curious, your first year with the New York Jets, what was your welcome to the NFL moment? Because I think everybody has one of their own. Oh, when we played the Browns. Uh, man, I was uh, I did a route and um, I faked out. I faked outside and looked outside and like soon as I turned around, I got nailed. And I probably say that was a welcome to the NFL moment because you know it, it hurt. It hurt me a lot. You know, knocked the wind out of me. And man, I just I lost all breath out of me. So I could say that was a welcome to the NFL moment for me. <laughs> Makes sense. A lot of times it does come in that physical form. I'm also curious, Denzel, what was one of your favorite parts about this offense this season? Because you were lucky enough to come into a wide receiver room that had a lot of veterans inside that room. So what was your favorite part about being part of that unit? Uh, well, I can say just uh, just at the practice, though, you know, just the energy, it's the energy that we have as a receiver group um, in that room. You know, we come out every day and we, we ready to compete and we're ready to get better. And we hold all each other accountable, you know. And um, no one is, you know, I can say no one is um, soft when it comes to that group, you know. Everyone want to listen. Everyone wants to get better. And don't no one really pouts when you try to tell them what they need to do and what they got to do to get better. Uh, we just all listen. And um, I can say that's the best moment about um, about being in this group, you know. We always going to be real with each other. We always going to be honest. We always going to do everything that we can to make each and one, each other better. So I can say that's the best thing about this group. And finally, Denzel, as you look ahead to year two, what are your expectations for yourself this off season and for this team heading into 2021? Well, you know, we just got to get better as a whole. You know, um, we got a lot to we got a lot to prove. You know, we only had a couple of wins, but we left a lot on the table when it comes to them late games. You know, everyone just got to look uh, look at themselves in the mirror and be like, you know, what I got to do to get better. You know, we want to start out strong and try to finish out strong. And Denzel, good luck this off season and we'll see you in 2021. All right, thank you.